Hi, I'm BJ Matavish. Welcome back to another DCG tutorial. So, uh, this one is literally going to be a tutorial, just like the skew lines one. I was asked to do one on the heated angles, which you see here. And I wasn't really too sure what to put into it, but what I'm going to go through is uh, a few of the different combinations that you can get. So, starting off nice, easy, 4.1, and then I'm going to skip a 5 point and go straight into a 6.1. Okay, so it's your corner geometry question. And the sheets I'm using, they are worksheets that were on uh, T4 rounds that were given up to teachers. So your teacher might be able to print you off one if you want to get the separate coordinates. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do, this is a 4.1. Now the dihedral angle is literally, you see here, we have two different lamina, two different planes, different surfaces, all right? Two different triangles. And this one's an easy one because it's a four point question where you have your line section already. And all the dihedral angle is, is literally the angle one surface makes to the other. Okay, and given an elevation and plan of two surfaces like that, you cannot find the dihedral angle. Okay, what you need to do is find a true length of your line section, and then you can do a point view of it, and that will give you an edge view of your two planes, and you'll get your dihedral angle. First thing I'm going to do is throw a bit of shading onto the uh, surfaces here, and also label the points. So I'll fast forward through this. Okay, so there we have the planes ABC and ECD. And as you can see here, points A and C are on both triangles, all right? So that line is on is common to both. So therefore, the line AC is your line section. Now we need a true length of it first. So if you look at both of your views, if it was parallel to the XY line in one of them, then in the other view, it would be a true length. But as we see here, neither of them are parallel to the x y line. So to find the true length of line section, first thing you need to do is project perpendicular to the line section. All right. So if we go perpendicular maybe to AC down here, put our new x1, y1, and get our heights from the x y line up. All right. Or you could go up this direction, or you could go down from here. It doesn't really matter, but as long as it's perpendicular to that, line section. Okay, so that is our first auxiliary view, and it is an auxiliary elevation because you project it from the plan. Now, what are we trying to do here? We're trying to find a true length of the line of intersection. So the line of intersection is your AC line. So therefore, this is a true length down here in plan. Why is it a true length? Why did we go perpendicular first? Why is it a perpendicular angle to the line of section here for the first view? So remember, to find a true length, for this to be true length here, in the previous view, it has to be parallel to the XY line. So if you project perpendicular from the line AC, the XY line is always going to be put in 
perpendicular to your projection lines, therefore parallel to your line of section. Okay, so if it's parallel to line uh, to the XY line here, then it has to be a true length in your auxiliary view. Okay, so now that we have a true length of the line, we can look straight in at it, right in here and get a point view of that line AC. And if you get a point view of two surfaces like this, of the line section between two surfaces like this one we have here, it will give you an edge view of the two surfaces. And once you have an edge view, you can look straight in at it and put in your dihedral angle. So we're projecting parallel this time. Now I have loads of room left or right. I might go left, just looks like we have more room. You're projecting from this auxiliary elevation, therefore you have to go from this X, Y line back. Now there's not too much room there to save with a datum like we did in the elevation, so I'm just going to measure from the X1 back. All right, so project out parallel to the uh, true length here of the line section out to the left and get your heights from the X, Y one back to plan. Now, so that is the dihedral angle found. So if you look at what you're left with, when you project parallel to it and you get your distances from the X1, Y1 back, going perpendicular, it's giving you everything you need. You see here, points A and C end up being the same height. Therefore, the line is a point view. So by go projecting parallel to it, it's giving us a point view. So, by getting our line of section and drawing perpendicular to it, we're getting a true length of it. Once you get the true length and you project parallel to it, okay, so all these lines are parallel to the true length here, you get a point view of that line. So this point here represents the line AC. And if you see a point view of the line of section between two surfaces, it's going to give you an edge view of the two surfaces. So this is the edge view of the triangle ABC. This is the edge view of the triangle ACD and then your dihedral angle is just the given angle. Okay, the angle in between them. Now with a six point question, a five point question, you might end up with an X shape out here. And I was asked before, which one of the four angles is, um, which one of the four angles is your dihedral angle, which you see here. And it doesn't matter, you just, it said determine the dihedral angle. So you've determined the dihedral angle between the two surfaces. All right, and it's giving you the two angles. So either one, whichever one you mark in, it doesn't matter, okay? As long as that's determined uh, and found correctly. So that was the four point question. And I might keep this one short and sweet and do the six point one in the next uh, video. So as always, hope that helped and we'll see you in the next one.